this is my two last bookshelves. The first part over here is just the Korean study books I have. And then of course I have some Tagalog phrase books. And then these over here, some of my more English, Japanese study manga. These are um, Gakuen Babysitters. <coughs> and I've read this a long time ago. It's just another really easy to read uh, graphic novel. And it follows two brothers. These two brothers. It is the ISBN for that if you're interested in those. Kana de Manga. It's this little book. It's about the size of my hand. And it pretty much just goes through Kana. Hiragana, Katankana. So the first side is Hiragana, Katankana. So the example word. How to write it. Stroke order. You do it for each character. Yeah, that's just pretty much what this book is. So. <coughs> I got this for my nieces to look through. They have some practice area in the back. So I didn't get this for me. I already know. I already knew Kana by the time I got this. I got it more for her. Kana de Manga. Next one is actually kind of cool. So the sound for wet is... Bisho, bisho. And a similar word down below. Or a similar sound down below. That's what each page looks like. And they're separated by animal sounds, human sounds, emotions, sticky. So, like, all of these have all these. I knew that one. Kira, kira. Things you wouldn't think would make sounds all have sounds. So they're just sound effects you'll see in, in manga, if you read manga. There's nature, there's mechanical, just kind of interesting. These are people. Gout. <laughs> Gout. The roar of a grown kuma. It's written in katakana. The growl of a koguma is written in hiragana. For a less version. Yeah. Noshi, noshi. Sound effects. And this is the visual Japanese uh, bilingual dictionary. ISBN. It is it's really nice. cool. Um, they do have, uh, they do have Romanji, but they also have the Kanji, so I just ignore, I just ignore the Romanji. A lot of the books you're going to find here in regular bookstores are going to have Romanji. I mean, you know, use bookstores. Different. I really like the pictures in this. I've looked through it. I usually just sit there and read it. They have really good pictures, separate in categories. Mm -hmm. But I have this same visual dictionary in Spanish and in German also. And I want to get a Korean one, but I haven't found the Korean one. Kind of hard to turn these pages. They have a lot of oh, Jitenja bicycle. I love riding my road bike. Let me show you all the parts to the bike, which is all in Katankana except for that one. Gears. So, pretty much when you see kanji like this, it is good to have the Romanji there. I prefer if they just had kanji and furigana, but eh, that's alright. I suppose it's worth 15 bucks for the amount of vocabulary you get. And I mean, it's you see the actual image, you know. So you don't just see the word and you're like, oh, well, what's that? You know, you don't have to Google every image or every word. The images are right there in front of you. Uh, Ika. And I bet Taco is here somewhere. 
No taco. Oh, there's taco. <laughs> yeah, taco. Um, so that was food. This is shopping. Kaimono. Oh, there's some sweets. Okashi. Candies. Snacks. So, this is a really cool book. I would suggest getting it if you're looking for something that you could take with you and um, study, you know, while you're out of the house. Breaking into Japanese literature. I'm sure everyone has seen a review or seen this book before. Uh, ESPN. I bought this one you. I'm going through each category and writing furigana in. So I highlight the words that are not in this vocabulary. So pretty much what it is. Let's go to the beginning of one. I guess it really don't matter. In the grove. So they give you the beginning. Of and then if you come across... A word you don't know, you go right down below. And it has the definition right here. And these numbers all correspond to certain download dictionaries. The, uh, you have to go download the audios for this. So you can actually do this for free. Uh, the audio. So here's the mp3. You can actually go now and download all of these stories for free. You don't even have to have the book. I mean, it's nice to have the book because you'll have the written form of it right in front of you. But if you just want to practice your listening skills, you can go ahead and go download all these yeah. definitions. So that's the whole book. That's what it is. It's really good for studying. And then especially like if you want to study away from home, you're not going to really need a dictionary. The definitions are right there. And the pronunciations are there, too. So, this is a good book to take with you. ESPN. I just love having hard copies of books. But like I said, all this information is online for free. And pretty much it is just a summary of a lot of grammar points. So, it's not a good study guide. I mean, they give you a couple examples... It's not a good, like, textbook, is what I mean. Uh, it's good for reviewing, but it's pretty cool. You can see this whole thing online for free, like I said. So I would suggest doing that first before deciding if you want to purchase it. I believe it's only, like, $15 for the book. But I really liked this book. I liked it a lot. Read Real Japanese. And you've probably seen this book a lot too. It's the ISBN number. I bought it used. Information. And they go right into it. And this one's written a little differently. It's written how you're going to see novels written. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And then they'll have like, instead of defining each word, they're going to define like a phrase. And they'll go through each and every single section. So, here it is. It kind of looks like a jumbled mess, but it really isn't. It's easy to follow. Uh, the audio on this is very fast-paced. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't understand what they're <coughs> saying. They do have furigana. But the first, it's only for the first time you see the word. So you do have to backtrack sometimes if you forget the pronunciation. Which I guess isn't really a bad thing because it'll help you remember it instead of relying on furigana. They have the story on the right, definitions on the left. And there's the next story, next author. So that's just this whole book. So there's the one for Kamisama. Um, they just have extra notes in the back. That you can read. It goes, corresponds to each story. Has their own section. Look, I took it to work with me. Mostly. ISBN. I also bought this used. Mostly used. for all occasions. Does also come with the CD. Um, I don't really remember much about the CD in this one. But... Oh, they just go in a whole bunch of different... I can't even really remember. I need to take these notes. Basic information. So they'll go, that's part one. Uh, names. You know, like titles and stuff. And here's family members, honor fix. 
so yeah. Oh, here's conjugations. So this actually, this chart is really nice to have. So here's that conjugations for E adjectives. Give you those. There is Romanji, unfortunately, but they do have kanji in Hudigana. So that's good. E the example sentences are kind of weird sometimes, I think. But anyway, here's Genki. So there's not adjectives. We have this long thing of verbs, conjugating verbs. Which is good to know. Because I didn't know some of these. Because they have honorific and humble. And I don't know these. <laughs> so it's always kind of interesting to see. Probably won't use them anytime soon. So these are do verbs. And irregular verbs for kudu, sudu. So I think so. I mean, this kind of just goes into a lot of different things. One to a few points about the conversations. The ones I found interesting, anyway. Yeah. I haven't read this whole book yet. You can kind of see how it's written, and here they don't have the romanji, which is good. So, honjutsu is, a more, is more formal than kyo. So, there's all of the notes. The notes are really interesting. Collocations. I actually, oh, I've only read a little bit of this book. This book is awesome. Collocations. It's really cool. And I actually saw this. Oh, here's the ISBN. It's all, you know, sectioned off. And you just, they give you a word and they give you like a set phrase that but. goes with that one. So like, here's one for te, out of control, like when you're saying it's out of hand, then it tells you how you can say a similar form in Japanese. But, nose. So if you want to say to be proud, hana ga takai, so nose high. So be proud, be proud to boast. So it gives you like these phrases. It's pretty much the book. They give you the word and then they give you like phrases right next to it that will help you with your Japanese to make it sound more natural. And then the Japanese sentence pattern for effective communication. I actually haven't read too much into this book yet. I took it to work with me. And I've only gotten through a little bit of it. Expressing conjuncture, expressing conjuncture and hearsay, and quoting people. So they probably just give you a set phrase for things like that. Describing the actions of giving and receiving. Oh, okay. Expressing ability, preference, desire, intention, resolution, and experience. It's Japanese idioms. So, ISBN. Dictionary of idioms. Proverbs, I got this for Christmas, so I don't know how much was spent. Dictionary of Proverbs. So, they have the little uh, tsume.
日日これ後日 So yeah, there's a proverbs in here. Pretty cool. I'm kind of interested in learning some of these. I got at the bookstore, so I did pay full price for it. It was kind of interesting. Oh, what to say? A thousand kanjis. It goes by category, and it gives you an image for each kanji in here. Here, and so you can kind of see that one. You can kind of see that one. But if animals, that one's still kind of funny to me. So. This book is pretty interesting. I mean, there is no hiragana, katankana, so um, it is all romanji, like I said. Oh, kori, kori, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Cracks in the ice, and then a penguin sitting at the top. And sometimes I get that mixed up with kanji forever. Uh, I don't know if it's in here. It looks real similar. Oh, and here's Kana. See, they, they teach you Kana, so I don't know why they don't use Kana. But nope, they just use Romanji. Say much about this one. I'll just show you inside it. It's a little different than the basic kanji books. This one's the intermediate. Um, I only have volume one because volume two had really bad reviews, so I don't know if I'll get it. More in-depth review of this when I've actually completed it. Uh, this one's a used book, so that's why you're seeing all these highlighted passages and written passages. Because I usually get all these books used. But it's a lot different than the original kanji ones. The basic kanji books. Here's kind of a glimpse inside it. Which, I mean, I really like it looking at it right here. Because there's no English in it, which is really cool. So I don't know, maybe I will get the second volume. I'm going to re review the reviews <laughs> and see exactly again why they were. Kanji no hon. So, oh, this is my plastic. Oh, this is my um, Ansatsu Kyoshitsu translations. Um, this is really boring stuff. But I just go through and I write down everything. Translate it. Eh, it's just I was doing it when I was bored, and now I'm translating some science books. I probably won't go over this too much, so that's that. Uh, kanji. Okay, so this one is the Finding Nemo translation for the novel. So. I haven't gotten it.